Good morning, McLaren. Hope you have a wonderful day. There is a lot of interesting games played in many different Asian countries, which are pretty unusual. Today, I will talk about some of those games just to show you how interesting that would be. Interesting sports in Asia. Sepak Taklo, Philippines. Popular in countries such as Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, and the Philippines. This unusual sports is best described as volleyball using only the feet. The name originates from the Malay language with sepak, meaning kick or smash. And the Thai language with the takro, the word for the small ball used in action. More picture of sepak takro. Kabaddi, Bangladesh. Prevalent in Bangladesh and India, Kabaddi is often referred to as an Asian version of tag. Contest lasts 40 minutes and beat two teams of seven against each other, trying to outscore their opponents by getting them out through a raid or a tackle. A raid comprises of going into the enemy's zone of the court and attempting to tag a player before making it back without being tackled or trapped. Picture of Kabaddi in Bangladesh. Hombobatu, Indonesia. Something that needs to be seen to be believed Hombobatu takes place in North Sumatra and in essence features men leaping over stone walls up to two meter tall. In the past, the pinnacle of the obstacle was even covered in spikes and sharpened bamboo, ensuring failure, failure really stung the competitors. Thankfully, those wishing to partake in this unusual sports today are able to do so without the threat of being impaled. One more picture of Hambobatu. Archery, Bhutan. Although archery has reached inter international levels in Bhutan, traditional archery is still practiced especially in the smaller towns and villages. And this is archery with a difference. Teammates cheer each other, jeer and holler at their opponents and break into ritual songs and dances after hitting the narrow target. Look at the picture of archery in Bhutan. Elephant Polo, India. As far as the rules of the game are concerned, each player is given three chances to hit the ball without hooking the sticks. No more than two elephants of a team can be present in any one half of the play field. Elephants cannot lie down before reaching their goals. They are also not allowed to use their trunks to pick up balls. Elephant Polo in Jaipur, India. Botaoshi, Japan. More popularly known in the West as the Capture the Flag game, the Japanese botaoshi is a traditional game usually played in a sports festival in schools. The main goal of this game is to put down the flag of the opposite team, which is normally perpendicular to the ground. The oppos opposing team should be able to bend the flag into a 30 degree angle to win. The total number of players is 150. With each team, the attackers and the defenders having 75 each.
Hope you are enjoying the interesting game profile. Thank you.